Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're tying a squirrel zonker. We have a Mustad 3366 in the vise, putting a little coat of Zap-A-Gap on the hook shank to help the thread adhere. We're using gel spun thread starting at the front of the hook and winding back to the barb. Trim off your excess thread. Use sharp scissors if you can. Then we're going to tie in a tail of crystal flash, a good 20 strands or so. Advance my thread up, wind back to the barb again, making sure you've got a nice underbody and your fly has a nice taper that way. Trim those to length. And then we're going to tie in a wire rib. I'm going to use a red wire, ultra wire. Advance up to the front of the hook and work your way back, making sure the wire is firmly in place and won't slip out. And next we'll do a dubbed body. I'm going to use a cream or white colored synthetic dubbing here. You can use like Nature Spirit Emergence dubbing. You could also use an ice dubbing. This is Sanyo's laser dub. kind of a tapered, so starting finer and, and gradually getting thicker as you go to the front of the hook. We're going to leave some room at the head, so we're only going to go forward two-thirds of the way, well, a little more than two-thirds of the way, but we're leaving here um, at least some space behind the eye so we can put in our, our head later. So a good eighth of an inch or more. Next we're going to tie in a squirrel strip, a squirrel zonker strip just by the tip right at the front of the hook. Working that back a little way so your working room at your head will be more like a quarter of an inch when you're all done. And to tie in our squirrel strip we're just going to use the wire ribbing. Fold a part in the hair Wrap the wire over to secure the strip. And then as you advance forward, keep doing the same thing. Kind of work an opening in the, in the hair, the squirrel hair. And then slide the wire in. So you're not trapping down excess fibers. You're keeping that wing nice and full. Keep working that wire forward. Spacing out your ribs evenly as you go along. It's a little bit fastidious, but as you tie more of them, you'll get more adept at working that wire through without trapping down lots of the, the fibers from that zonker strip. And then finally, when you reach the front where your thread's waiting, tie off your wire. And then trim off the excess wire. Trim your zonker strip just slightly longer than the crystal flash tail. The tail uh, itself will then equal about a hook shank in length. And then as far as the tying procedure goes, we can now make just a, <clears throat> a little bit of flash along the side of the body. We're going to use a, a crinkled flashaboo type material and a couple strands along each side of the body. Turn your vise over if you can to do the far side, but two strips that will run just along the side of the body. And then a few finishing wraps to kind of even out the, the head of the fly, and then you can do a whip finish. I'm just using some half hitches, several half hitches. This is all going to be covered up by epoxy, or in this case, clear cure goo. Next, we're going to add some eyes. We're going to use the cure clear cure cure goo, uh, clear cure goo eyes. Hard to say. CCG eyes is an easier way to do it. Put one of those on each side.
And then once the eyes are in place, kind of tweak the flash so it stays along the side of the body. And then we're going to take clear cure goo, thick, and fill in in between the eyes. So on top and bottom in the gap between the two eyes. Just fill that in. Have to let it settle a little bit. You can even take a bodkin and kind of work it down into the little crevice. It, sometimes air gets trapped in there and it's it takes a little bit of uh, working back and forth to make sure that gap is, is actually filled. Just once you've made sure that, that that gap is filled completely and you get a nice kind of rounded shape then on the front of your head, you'll be ready to cure the CCG. I do, like I said, like to take a bodkin and just make sure there's no trapped air bubbles in between the, the eyes. That'll help it settle a little bit more if you take a tip of a bodkin and, and just pop those air bubbles and let everything sink in in between the eyes. So now you can take your curing light, hold that in place since it's a, it's a deep crevice it, it takes a little while for that to, to fully cure down in the bottom there. Make sure you, you hit each side quite a while. And with the thick, when you're done curing this, you'll test it to make sure it's, it's set. And if it's a little bit tacky, you can put an overcoat of um, either hard as nails, Sally Hansen hard as nails, or even a thin coat of Loon Hardhead. We'll uh, make sure that that's not tacky. But the main thing is just to make sure you get a really good cure. Uh, between those those eyes that the depth of that that CCG I guess you could do it in a couple of different applications fill in first a little bit set it add some more set it but there you have pretty much the finished squirrel zonker test that for tackiness add a little bit of an overcoat if you'd like but a fun pattern you can mix up the colors change um, the materials you're using by switching over to a rabbit strip Here's an example of another fly, a little lighter color, and here's one with a larger zonker strip. So tie some of these up and have fun.